Hello, people. We are 10 minutes late, but we are live here with Andrea Galvão and Guto Campos uh, with one more hangout there for Gracie Mag readers and viewers now. Uh, Andrea was kind enough to come straight from his... Uh, he has a school in San Diego, California. Actually, he was here on Newport uh, training with the Mendes brothers and everybody from Atos today and he got stuck in the 405 right so it was a little jammed mm -hmm. um, but uh, he's ready to show you some killer guard pass movies I, I, I was ask, I was going to ask you about mm -hmm. these leg drags this is a uh, such a a new thing uh, Andrea on 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 Jiu Jitsu in terms of techniques mm -hmm. and it changed do you agree that the leg drags and passing changed a lot the way people need to recover the guard nowadays I think so I think uh, uh, I think the leg drag like a couple guys they they use like way before but uh, I think now if because like seminars online train things like that you know people like know more about that you know how to kill the hips before they pass the guard you know because pretty much you go this side and then you you first you kill the hips of the opponent and then you go the side control you know and of course like has a lot of uh together with the with the technique you see like a lot of like a, a defense as well you know like grooming in the jiu-jitsu world so it's like every position right now they have like the brain ball thing you know and you're gonna start to see like a lot of defense of that because people you start to do more in the train and they start to like uh, be more comfortable, like the fame in the position as well, you know. So I, I believe, like oh, for sure, like the the technique, you know, uh, of the attack helps the defense as well. You know? All right, and uh, for you, Guto, you you just had a great uh, fight against Romulo Bahal on the Pan American, and you were able to pass his guard twice actually on the on the on the on the event. Uh, do you do you think these leg drag passes helped you? You know, it's helping your game as well. Yeah, for sure. We drills a lot like drag in the training every day. We have a good guys, some good guys doing a lot of good guys in the training. I'm doing a very good pass guard training with Andre Galvão and Matt Jiu Jitsu, and I think helps a lot. Okay, great. Uh, before we start, like with the positions, the secret positions, and there will show us. Uh, I want you to uh, to uh, keep in mind that Andre, beside his teaching on his school in San Diego, he has a website where he teaches uh, online. It's algalvão.com, mm -hmm. a l l g a l v a o o dot com. Yes. And you can go there and, and sign for the website. How does that work? Yeah, uh, the, the, uh, I just started the, the online training like for pretty much like five, six months ago. And the website is doing really good. You know, I have a good renews from the website. You can watch from your iPhone as well, you know. So the kind of app we are using like is really, really good. And it's fast, you know. Um, right now I have like uh, over 230 position you know right now so every week we we post like 10 12 positions oh really you know per week and everything i shows on my class is there you know so i i i record like the when i when i when i'm teaching my students we record the technique and we post on the on the on the website algavon.com you know so uh, it's like a, you can do a one year or six months to subscribe you know, six months subscribe, one year subscribe, or you can do per month per month. And actually like, uh, you can do like a trial as well, you know, for like uh, a week. So please give yourself a favor and try algalval.com. There you go. Okay, I, I leave the stars here on the mat. <laughs> and uh, please show us your secret techniques. Of course, there you go. Uh, first technique I'll show you here. Okay, um, is a position which I, I really like to do. Okay, um, it's like oh, one position from the half guard when the guy is doing half guard here. Like he's like facing to me and he has this knee, you know, uh, between my arm here and my leg. 
Okay, so I always like this bother me, especially when the guy grabbed my collar and grabbed my sleeve here, you know? So the key of the position here, I gotta break this grip first, okay? And then I'll grab his collar, right? Right here. Sometimes, turn this way. So sometimes when I'm here, the guy's holding my pants right here, okay? So and then like, it's really hard for me to pass his guard, you know, because he's controlling, because I wanna go to this side. All right, because normally when the guy is playing guard to this side here, he likes to see me like passing this way, okay? So I'll go to his bad side, all right? So what I gonna do? I'll go here, I grab his collar, okay? And with the other hand, okay, I'll grab his, his leg like this, okay? I don't use the key, I like to use like the hand right here, okay? So I use the hand right here. So now what I will do? I'll be here, okay, and then I'll just wait for him to let go this hand because the guy is not gonna be here forever, okay? And he'll try to break my grip on the collar, okay? So he goes there and break my grip. Boom, he break my grip here to start to set up the guard again, okay? So at this moment here, okay, when he goes to break my grip, I'll do like a little sprawl, okay? And keep my, my shoulder over his knee like this. And now I'll drag his leg and go to the side, like this way. So now I'll put my knee behind his, his lower back because normally the guy who tried to sit up here and put his elbow on the floor and escape the hips, come back. So I block here, sit up. So he sit up here. I'll grab four fingers inside his collar. And then I put his back on the floor again. Okay, so now I'm here, underhook his arm and start to press his guard. So now I like to grab here. So I'm ready to attack his back or or uh, finish him, okay? One more time. Go this way. Uh -huh. Over here, okay? So first, like the guy will grab your, your sleeve here, okay? So I will put my knee over, break, and I'll grab here, okay? So now I will go with this hand and grab his chin, okay? So I don't wanna lock his knee here, okay? I wanna keep his knee like this. Sometimes I put my, my chicks inside his leg here, okay? Put my head on this side, because it'll be easier for me to drag his leg, okay? So when a guy try to break my grip here, I will sprawl here and then drag his leg this way. And then I'll jump. When I jump, I put my foot under his, his leg, okay? And surprise the guy. If he stop here, I just go and put the weight. But normally the guy will sit up like this. So I'll grab here, put his back on the floor, under hook, walk to the side with my chest, I put the weight on the guy and grab his wrist here. And from here, I can attack his back, knee on belly, arm bar here. You know, I can do a lot of positions from this situation. So now I'll do a little bit fast. Same speed off the fight. So he's grabbing here. It's hard for me to grab there. Break, hold, hold. When you try to break, you drag and then goes this side. He goes here, put down, grab here. I can grab the Kimura grip or underhook the bottom arm just to not let the guy turn. Okay, and then from here, you can start to attack his back or whatever. Okay, let me do another angle this way. Here, okay. So the guy is grabbing my break, hold, or put my knee, my head inside. Okay, he try to break. Now my legs is free, so I sprawl and drag, and then go to the side. Now he starts to sit up, put him down, grab the wrist, underhook his arm, just like that. My toes on the mat all the time. Okay. Because here the guy can turn to me or he can turn to the outside. So I gotta be ready to follow the guy. Okay? That's the first technique. So, I'll show the second technique right now. Can I show the second? Yes, okay. sure. So that's the first one. So, I, I haven't used this a lot, this position, and works. Okay, really well against black belts. So I always do surprise the guy and it's hard for him to recover the guard. So now the second more this way. Now the second, I'll be here, the same situation, okay? First thing is my fight here to grab this collar here. Okay, I gotta hold this collar here, all right? 
So the guy will grab my sleeve again here. So break, hold, okay? So now I'll go with my hand and grab the bottom leg here, okay, here. So everybody knows this pass here, you know, like when you slide their knee and then you start to go to the side and pass his guard, okay? Pretty much like uh, everybody is using this a lot and it's really effective passing guard, okay? It's really good. But uh, sometimes it's hard against a guy with a good guard, you know? First thing I gotta worry here is, is the hand on the collar here. If I put my weight too much here, the guy can go and start to do a cross choke, okay? I gotta be careful with that. So try to put your head like this way, facing this way, don't face this way, okay? So I'll grab, I'll grab his pants right here, close by his, his calf, okay? So my knee will pinch like in the front of his knee. I'm not gonna let his knee here. Okay, I'll go here, okay, hold. So now I slide my shoulder my shoulder is here, so I slide my shoulder close by his his chin right here, right on the beginning of his uh, ankle. Okay, so I grab, so I slide here. Why I do this? Because I want to keep his foot close by his butt. Okay, right here. Okay, so now I put the weight on the guy, and then I start to do this, to try to pass his guard. So it's hard for him to stretch his leg right now, the top leg here. Okay, and now what are you gonna do? He gonna start to fight with me here because I'm fighting to pass his guard. So now what are you gonna do? I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna let go the collar here and then I'll grab this foot. Now I'll drag his foot this way. And I'll put my knee on the front of the bottom knee. This leg I'll stand up, okay? So then I'll grab his collar again. So keep his leg on my, on my lap right here. Don't keep your knee on the floor. Keep right here open. So I'll be with both legs between his legs, okay? Which is like really hard for the guy to move. Turn, oh. see how I control him right here. Don't keep right here because if I keep right here, the guy can lock the triangle on my leg and start to grab my leg and go to the 50-50, okay? So I'll put my knee on the front of his leg here and open, okay? So I'll be here. So now here I can choose like two passing guard, okay, from here. So first I wanna just show you guys how to get this position here, okay? So as much as I put the weight, more pressure I put on the guy, and if the guy is not too flexible, it will be really hard for him to defend, okay? The goal here is I keep his hips on the floor, so I'll keep my, my chest over his hips, okay, right here. That's the pressure. Toes on the mat, and I keep fighting here. One more time. So be here, okay, into Guto. He opened the knee, because if you lock the knee here, I can smash and start to pass here, okay? So normally the guy will open the knee like that, okay? So I'll grab his collar, grab his bottom pants here with my fingers like that. So now I put my cheeks inside his leg and now I slide my shoulder down here. Now I smash his leg against his butt. Okay, he's trying to stretch the leg, so I put all the, my pressure here. I'm trying to pass. Now I let go the collar and drag his leg, boom. Now I go here, okay? So now I put the weight on the guy and open my legs wide, okay? So now it's hard for the guy to move. Try to move, good talk. It's hard. Control the guy, okay? Right here. And then from here, I can jump to his back. Just do that as a windshield wiper. Move with your feet here. And then go to his back again, same position I did before. Okay, control the wrist, ready to take his back. Okay, one more time. So, same situation, okay. I'm trying to pass his guard. Same way, grab here, slide my hand, okay. How I reach his collar? Because the guy will be blocking me here. So I work with my knee, boom, break, grab. Okay, now I slide my shoulder down. Okay, now I put all my weight here. Look at his foot, he's right here, ready to drag. So I grab right here. Okay, hold and drag, okay? Just like posture up and drag. As I drag, look, I'll do slow motion. As I drag, this knee goes on the front of his leg. Look, one, and I put the knee on the front of his leg. So now I grab, look, this leg here, 
Always stand it like that. Lock my elbow. It's really hard for the guy to move. Okay, so now I'm here. Now put all the pressure on the guy here. It's really hard for the guy to defend. Okay, so I can go to his back as a winch wiper, like I, should, I say. Boom. Now he tried to stand up again. I put him back. I can work the Ezekiel on the back. Okay, finish the fight. Okay, or I can just grab his wrist. Hold it like this to be ready to attack his back or hold it the bottom arm to just control the passing guard and get three points. Now the next position, same way, I will get like seven points because I'll go straight to the mount. How? If you like to compete, you know, like start the fight with the seven points, not bad, you know, not that bad. So it's really good, okay? Especially like blue belts, you know, white belts which like the time is short. So I go, block, boom, grab, hold the bottom leg, slide my shoulder, okay, right here, be careful with the choke here, always facing this way, okay? So now I put the pressure on, okay, I gotta put my both knees off the floor, put the pressure of his foot on his butt, okay? I'll drag his leg, boom, and I'll be here, okay, same position. So now what I gonna do? I'll be here, I'll step over his leg, okay? Boom, step forward, now I grab his head. As I grab his head, I like to open his lapel and give to my other hand right here. Feed my hand with his collar, okay? Now I'm here on this situation, okay? Right here, okay? So now I put my outside legs close by his hips. Now I always use my shoulder over his face because he didn't face that side, so it'll be hard for him to defend, and then he goes straight to the mount. Okay, so this is three plus four points from the mount. You pass him out, so it's gonna be seven points. So now, this lapel here, this type of uh, position, is really strong, it's really hard for the guy to defend. Okay, especially when I got the position. Okay, if you like to finish the fight, of course. It's very important. The goal of the Jiu Jitsu is like submit the fight. So I'll be here, grab his collar, and grab his right here. Don't grab right here. I don't like to grab here. Here, I use no gi. You can use this, this position, no gi as well. You hold like this, you know, slide. Okay, start to work from here. Boom. Oh. Set up the position, no gi, you know. And you can grab the guy here. It's really hard for him to escape. I hold like this. He tried to move good. Oh, as much as I open my leg, it will be tough for him to pass, to escape, sorry. Now I jump over. Boom, jump over. Now I gotta put my shoulder on the front of his face, okay, and make the guy face the other side. Now this knee goes straight under his arm here. And then I go straight to the mouth, right here, okay? So when I got the position, Okay, grab again. So one, boom. Two, boom. Three, slide down. Four, I put my weight. Five, I drag. Boom, and then I go here. Jump over. So I step, put the pressure on the guy. Okay, I'm more display for the camera here. Okay, so now let's say I wanna pass his guard. I feed my hand right here with his collar. Okay, feed my hand. Grab, okay. Jump over, boom, okay? Sometimes when I got here, okay, the guy who wants to frame his, his arm right here to try to put me away. So I open his elbow, boom, and grab right here. So now I can mount on him, and then sometimes I got put on the half guard. Right here, I jump straight to the back, and then just choke the guy. He okay, just like, as like a tagatami, okay? I face this way, Boom, and now I start to choke. Just like work with my elbow down. Choke him, okay? Last one, okay, for you guys. Just make sure. First position, when you grab, break, hold, hold. Okay, you be hold your, 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 maybe your pants right here. It's not the time to go. It's when you start to go to break, and I go. Okay, that's the exact moment you gotta go, okay? 
On the leg drag, I like to work with this knee on the floor. And this foot, I put under his leg. I step like this, I'm surfing here, look. All right, so I don't like to do like that. Because when the guy is too big, like some people I see on the tournament, like they leg drag and they put this knee on the floor. If I'm a small guy against a big guy, maybe the big guy grab my head and start to turn this way and put me down. So he's stronger than me. So when I'm like little, I gotta put it like this, try to turn it, so it's hard for him, okay? If his arm pass this way, I go to Ezekiel, okay? If he try to stand up, here, putting him down, under hook, pass, grab his wrist, okay? That's the first position. Second position, we did like two pass. The first one, I just, I put my knee here, okay? He grabbed my, my hand. Break the sleeve, hold, grab the bottom leg, slide down, stretch, start to put pressure here, drag, the guy normally you stretch his leg, look. Now I drag, boom, put my knee on the floor. Okay, open my leg like this, and keep carrying like this. Now I go and grab his head. Okay, just keep control here. I can grab like with my thumb inside, control the guy. All right, so the first passing guard, if I like to go to his back, I go close by his collarbone. Lock my elbow, pass this way. Okay, now from here I start to use my chest against his wrist, his, his elbow, sorry. I grab his wrist, now easy for me to take his back. Okay. In the other position. The last one again, just one more time, okay guys. Here, I'll grab. So he's here, he grabbed my sleeve. So I gotta keep my knees on the floor, okay? I don't like to fight like this. Sometimes I do that, okay? But if I fight a, uh, against a small guy or a guy really flexible, he starts to scramble under my leg. So that's why I put right away my knee on the floor. Boom, my both knees on the floor. So grab the collar, okay? And then I grab the bottom leg, okay? So the guy will try to break my grip or keep holding my, my pants right here. On this position, no problem. I just slide my, put my cheeks inside, my, my head inside, slide my shoulder. And now the pressure of my shoulder is right here against his leg, okay? Right here, boom. Now his leg is really close by his butt. Let go the collar, drag and pass the knee over. Wow, right here, hold, okay? For this passing guard, I can grab like this if I like, okay? As a no-gi grip, all right? So keep my knee between his legs, okay? Jump over, one. Now I'm ready to pass his guard. Shoulder over his face, a lot of pressure here. I can feed my hand if I like. Feed, let's say he framed the, the arm right here. Pop, okay? Now I'm ready to choke the guy or go straight to the mount. Straight to the mount here. If you try to put on the half guard, that's what the guy will do. Just jump to his back and choke. 